Guns, Germs, and Steel by Jared Diamond has been a unifying factor in our study of geography and the formation of culture. One of Jared Diamond's concepts is that of geographic luck. He suggests that where cultures formed was based largely on geographic luck. Basically, people were more likely to form a culture or an advanced civilization if they were lucky enough to be born in places with fertile soil and animals to be domesticated. That's why you see the more advanced cultures are going to be, especially the early advanced cultures, are places where they did have fertile soil to begin planting and begin agriculture. And they had animals like cows or pigs or horses that they were able to domesticate. And then later on it became a factor of where they spread. But initially the best chance you had of being a successful dominant culture was going to be based solely on where were you born? Were you lucky enough to have access to these resources? Cultural diffusion is also important in terms of Jared Diamond's ideas. Cultural diffusion, remember, is spreading culture or ideas from one group or one culture to another. Jared Diamond suggests that it was easier for cultures to spread through Europe and Asia than it was from North to South America. As a result, ideas and advancement spread much more quickly throughout these regions than they did in North and South America. One of the reasons is it's easier for people to travel through similar climates. They're already equipped for that. They know how to deal with the weather and the plants and those kinds of things that they'll encounter. Europe and Asia are along the same lines of latitude, so they share similar climates. They share similar plants and animals because of that. There's also multiple access points between Europe and Asia. If one area is blocked, you can go further north or south and still get access between the two continents. North and South America, however, because they're aligned vertically or more, aligned, more along lines of longitude than latitude, have significantly different climates. There's also only one point to move from one continent to another, and that's through Panama. So if you picture the map of North and South America, it gets really thin through Central America. With that one singular point to move from one region to another, or from one continent to another, it makes the transfer of ideas much less likely to happen. Because one point minimizes it. Also, Panama had rainforests and difficult terrain for people to get through, so it wasn't the easiest place to navigate to begin with, especially if you're coming from a significantly different climate zone where such an environment would be completely foreign to you. A final concept that, J that Jared Diamond discusses is how guns, germs, and steel changed the world. So in addition to talking about geography, once these advanced cultures formed, who had the guns, who had the germs, and who had the steel played a big factor in who developed even further. The New World was the first place where all of these really came to play. The Europeans had gotten access to the guns and the steel through other cultures. They had germs, not necessarily that they wanted access to, but they certainly were able to use them to their advantage. So when, they, when the Europeans came to the New World, or the, the Americas, they brought diseases like smallpox, which wiped out a significant po population in the New World. This made them much easier to conquer. They also had steel weapons, including guns. The weakened Aztecs, Incas, and other tribes really had no chance against the superior weapons. They've been wiped out due to disease. Now there's the threat of these weapons, which their arrows and swords and air, um, and other weapons really can't compete against those. So for the past 500 years, these factors have continued to play a significant role in the balance of powers throughout the world.